Earnings All-Star video. And as you know, we're getting to the more juicy earnings reports, as I like to call them, with the S&P 500. Uh, many of them set to report this week into next week. And we're going to start to see some of those magnificent seven stocks reporting and the former FANG stocks like Netflix also reporting this week. But what stocks should you be watching? I picked out five of the most interesting red hot stocks, those that are maybe busting out to new all-time highs, but also have very solid earnings surprise charts. So this is a good combination to have, right? Uh, what are they? Let's dive in and see. Okay, the first one out of the gate is going to be Intuitive Surgical, ticker ISRG. Now, uh, as you can see from the chart, very good earnings surprise track record. It does have these two misses, one in 22, one starting 2023, but you have to go all the way back to 2019 before the pandemic to see the other misses. So this is a great earnings surprise track record. But look at this chart. It's had a couple of uh, real big pullbacks. It had the one during the pandemic to start there. Huge rally. Then uh, another pullback when the 2022 sell-off. Huge rally. And now it's busting out to new all-time highs here. So uh, five-year highs, the shares are up 107%. That's now beating the S&P 500 up 79%. So um, Intuitive Surgical was one of the hot growth stocks, even back before the pandemic, that a lot of the growth investors used to be in. Then it kind of went out of favor, uh, even with that big rally in 2020, 2021. But now is it coming back in favor? This is the Da Vinci Surgical Systems. And so that is still, you know, hot worldwide and uh, so what what is going to happen with this stock? It's not cheap. It's trading at 59 times. I'm kind of getting used to the fact that a lot of these big growth names that are busting out to new highs are now trading at really sky high valuations, but the market doesn't seem to care. So this is an interesting dynamic. It cared in 2022 what the uh, valuations were, but it's not here in 2024. So that's Intuitive Surgical ISRG. Then we're going to see the Big Kahuna, one of the magnificent seven stocks in Tesla. And Tesla is um, one of the ones that is not as hot as some of the other mag sevens, as you can see here on the chart. Now, it does have a very good earnings surprise track record now. Once it started um, actually making money and being earnings positive, it has managed to put together quite a number of beats. It is coming off its first miss there last quarter, just 8.3%, but not a big deal because nobody really is caring about the earnings misses and beats as much with Tesla, even though it does put has put together this nice record. Uh, it's really about how many are being produced, how many cars are being sold, but uh, we'll, we'll still watch that part of the equation, right? And then the other part is really that the stock did sell off here in 2022 off of those highs in 21. It has had a bit of a rebound, but not as much as some of the others like we just saw with Intuitive Surgical. And it is lagging a little bit. One month, it's down a bit here. Um, but over the last year, it is up 59% versus 21.8 for the S&P 500. So if you did buy a year ago back over here, then you're you're doing okay. But longer term investors still kind of waiting to get back to these 2021 highs. Uh, how expensive is it? It's trading at 55 times. Nobody's really ever cared about Tesla and its valuation. But if you now care, it is not a cheap stock either. So that's Tesla, ticker TSLA. Then uh, we're gonna switch back over to the tech, pure tech side with one of my favorites and an earnings all-star service now, ticker N-O-W. And this chart is one of the uh, fantastic ones for this week. One of the ones I like to say you really don't have to worry about um, because it just keeps beating. So ServiceNow hasn't missed in five years. Yes, five years. And the shares are now at new highs. So we have the double whammy, 
the great earnings surprise track record with the shares now taking off, had the big sell-off in 2022, huge rally in 2023, which is now continued here into 2024. Over the last year, shares are now up almost 70% in the last year. And valuations on this one, once again, you're not getting it cheap. 59 times now for service now. But are we back into the era of valuations don't matter? Sure looks like it with just these three charts, right? So this is service now. I'm expecting another beat and then we'll see where the stock goes. Okay, then we're gonna we're gonna actually switch over to the old economy here a bit with United Rentals, ticker URI. What made me choose this one when we have all these other hot kind of techie charts? Well, look at this chart. It too is busting out to new five-year highs, even though it's on equipment rental, which is construction, the infrastructure build out, all of that, which is why I'm calling it kind of old economy, right? Because uh, building has been around forever since the pyramids and before. So United Rentals, really a big winner with what's going on in the infrastructure build out and even just home building and things being red hot. And you can see it has a little bit more iffier track record. It does only have the four misses in the last uh, five years, but two of them were last year. Seems to have righted the ship and last earning surprise just 3.6% but they give pretty good guidance, pretty clear guidance. So not surprised that it has some smaller beats here, but it has beat two quarters in a row now. And uh, these shares up 46% over the last year. So that too is over double the S&P 500, but this stock is actually still cheap, trading at 13 times. So how much more does United Rentals have? Well, if we're starting to see this rally and the U.S. economy is maybe going to turn around a bit more than a company like United Rentals could be a, a big winner in that economy as well, although it already is the winner with the infrastructure build out. So United Rentals, one to watch this week. Then we're going to wrap it up with another old favorite that is also busting out to new five-year highs. So outside of Tesla, all these stocks busting out to new five-year highs. And this stock is Visa, ticker V. This is the earnings be beast, as I like to call it. You can see from the chart, it hasn't missed in five years, but that's like service now. But this chart, if we go back in time, if we go back to 2008 to its IPO, it has not missed since 2008. This is the only company that has done this feat it did not miss in the uh, pandemic. It did not miss last year in or two years ago now in the sell-off. And now it too is bust out of its narrow trading range. It's in new, new all-time highs. And one year though, it's up only 21% because it was in these ranges. Um, but it is uh, not as expensive as some of the others and not as expensive as I've seen it when over here in 2021, it was busting out to new highs. Back here in 2021, in that kind of feverish stock market, it was trading over 40 times forward earnings. But earnings have continued to rise. The stock has stagnated for several years and now a little bit more affordable on the earnings side with a forward PE of just 27. So that is more in line when it was at 40 back here in 2021, I was not a fan. I am a little bit more so now at 27 times. So Visa, is this is this a barometer for the economy? It's looking pretty bullish here. So as you can see, uh, you can see why people are bullish on stocks right here just by looking at these five charts. Minus kind of Tesla, which is waiting to catch a bid, hasn't yet done so, but there's more than just these five charts that look like this, busting out to new five-year highs, including several of the other Magnificent Sevens that are busting out. And so things are looking pretty red hot going into this earnings season. Can these earnings report give it another boost higher? We will see. But I'm going to be following it all earnings season here on the Earnings All-Stars videos. So be sure to tune in, get all of these videos at zax.com slash YouTube. 
And um, I'll be bringing you more on Twitter. You can follow me just at Tracy Reinick, and I'll be posting some of these charts over on Stock Twits, also just at Tracy Reinick on Stock Twits. But be sure to get our charts somewhere and all of our earnings content because there is a lot going on and things look bullish. Will it hold over the next couple of weeks? We will see. And I'll see you again next week with some more earnings charts.